day in the life of a cruise ship captain, New Year's Eve edition. This morning's wake up call was at 4.45 to be on the bridge at 5.30. I'm always on the bridge at least a half an hour before we pick up the pilot. Just like you leave the lights off inside your car when you drive at night, same thing for the bridge. So we work on our night vision and then we pick the pilot up at 6 a.m. This morning, staff captain's gonna do the maneuver. I always alternate which officers do the maneuver, so by the time they reach captain, they have hundreds of arrivals and departures under their belt. Staff captain did a great maneuver, and once we're alongside, we start sending the lines. After arrival, it's still pretty quiet, so a good chance to check the weather and clean out the emails. Today happens to be my husband's birthday, so we've gotta get the gifts in and some extra birthday snuggles with Bug. Coffee time with our lovely guest and then back up to the bridge for our secret Santa extravaganza. The holiday cruises are always a really busy time for us and the ships are sailing full, so we didn't have a chance during the Christmas cruise to do our secret Santa. But this is a nice way to ring in the new year with a few new things. Even though it's a holiday, it's still the end of the month and a lot of emails and admin work to get done. And because it was an early arrival and it's gonna be a late evening, this nap is not a luxury, it's a requirement. Staff captain calls to ask if I need anything before he has a nap as well. <laughs> Half an hour before departure, we're doing a pre-departure brief and we're gonna have our third officer do the maneuver. It's your first ever? Yes. This is where we plan and visualize to execute. Okay. Let go all lines. Forward and aft, let go all lines. Let's go. Once all lines are on board, it's one long blast, a deep breath, and usually the maneuvering support mammal standing by. We manually manipulate the azipods and the thrusters to pull us off the pier and get us underway. Once we're safely off the pier, we take the controls to the center cockpit and start increasing speed to our next port of call. We want to make sure you never forget your first, so there's always a memento to remember your success and that there are many, many more maneuvers in your future. It's dinner time and it was birthday boy's choice, so tonight we're eating in Eden. I can't even explain how good this food is. <laughs> After dinner, there's a walkabout to meet and greet our guests around the ship. Bug gets some dinner, and then it's showtime. <laughs> FaceTime with mom and dad, which I do every day, then a final check of the emails and write my night orders. We honor the tradition that the first one to enter the bridge after the new year is the patron saint of seafarers, St. Nicholas, carried by our youngest member of the bridge team. And he's going to look after us and protect us for the upcoming year. Everybody happy? Yes. yes. Blessed. <laughs> Alcohol free. Beyond. And we're so blessed to be able to spend it with each and every one of you. We want to wish you health, happiness, safety, wealth, and much success in 2023. Cheers. 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 Straight to bed and a little over four hours later, it's up for arrival in our first port of 2023, Cozumel, Mexico.